Welcome, welcome viewer wherever you are. If you are joining right now, we are live at uh, Moi Sports Center International Kasarani for uh, a Kenya Premier League match putting Gormaya FC against Kakamega Homeboys. It is a match that uh, many anticipate uh, that would be a difficult match for both teams given that uh, yes uh, Gormaya is uh, leading at the top but Kakamega Homeboys have also come for business given that uh, they are also finalists in uh, this uh, uh, very very encounter and uh, as it is right now uh, when the teams come in I'll be giving you what we have in terms of the lineup for the teams and uh, my name is Nico Kelo I'll be joined uh, by my co-commentator uh, King Manuel uh, for this show and uh, indeed as it is uh, these two teams are no strangers this season alone they've met uh, this is the third time Gormaya having uh, gone to Bukungu in Kakamega for the first leg where Gormaya won by a solitary goal and uh, yes the next visit to Bukungu Stadium Gormaya lost with, by the same same margin to Kakamega homeboys in uh, a Kenya uh, uh, FKF uh, Cup encounter uh, that uh, was uh, some time back in the last three months. Today, Gormaya is uh, taking up Kakamega Homeboys knowing so well that this game means a lot to the team because they can't afford to sleep any time right now in this league. They are leading the league by 67 points as it is right now. But yes, Kakamega Homeboys are not uh, gunning or challenging for the title here. But uh, they want to show Gormaya that they've come here for business all the way from the western of uh, Kenyan side. My name is Nico Kelo. I'll uh, be giving you this live commentary on and on and on till the 98th minute. And uh, yes, uh, the lineups uh, would be following uh, very, 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 very uh, closely and uh, yes i know many people are already tuned in i can see people like uh, dan obonyo kogalo oe from nakuru prestige branch thank you dan uh, we have uh, sayari studio architecture and marwa we have valeta diambo all the best gormahia gordon ombaka let's win this and uh, these are the very early live commentaries that are coming your way uh, from kasarani and yes the teams are coming in right now and uh, i'll take you through the lineups as uh, they are today and Gormaya, like it is will uh, be guarded in goal by god matthews paul ochuga plays uh, in position two joffrey ocheng simiti plays in his usual position which is uh, uh, position uh, three uh dennis njire in the jz3 sylvester owino wahongo uh, John uh, Macharia, Kagimo Shafik, uh, Kadu Patrick, uh, Odiambo Austin, and Peter Luasa will be doing duty for Gormaya. That uh, is how it's been lined up. And uh, on the Kakamega side, uh, Kakamega homeboys, Farouk Shikalo, a very experienced goalkeeper, will be doing business here. We have Odiambo Collins, we have Eric Abuya, Robinson Kamura, Chara Bryan, S.C.A. Eston, Kanda Felician, Hilary Otieno, Moses Schuma, Sifuna Ambrose, and Mwai Kevins. And this uh, team is coached by uh, former Gormaya tactician Patrick Odiambo, who knows Gormaya so well. Jonathan McKistry will be leading from uh, the technical bench on the Gormaya side as the coach. 
Welcome to this uh, uh, live encounter from Moy Sports Center International Kasarani. I'm Nico Kelo. Please uh, do join us as we will give, be giving you all that will be happening right uh, in this uh, stadia. Remember, this is the second last game of the season, and Gormaya really and badly need a win today to ensure that they don't lose out on the momentum. And uh, Kakamega Homeboys, yes, are here to frustrate every every attempt by Gormaya to want uh, to beat them here. Yeah. Remember, Gormaya uh, has been playing in Kasarani, and uh, according to their head-to-head, -head, uh, they've met uh, like five times, and uh, Gormaya has won three of the encounters, and uh, also drawn uh, uh, one and uh, lost one. That uh, is uh, the way it is. Kakamega on the other side have only won once against Gormaya, drawn three times. So, looking at it from the uh, history, from uh, the books, Gormaya should uh, really win this game, but then uh, this uh, game of football is played for 90 minutes, and uh, well, uh, we'll know exactly at the 90th minute uh, what exactly transpires between the two teams. I can see they're now getting ready, the center referees and uh, the assistant referees are also consulting here. Uh, every sign is that uh, this game will uh, be kicking off. I also want to welcome uh, uh, chairman of Gormaya Youth FC. Moses Libamba from uh, Seme in Colenio. I also want to say a lot of uh, Paul Esana to one ardent fan, uh, Dr. Ringes, Dr. Ringding, who actually had an accident yesterday and is not able to come and uh, watch uh, this game. Ogua Pole Arakasana. Ayo Vincent, all the best, Gormaya. You are loud and clear, our commentator. Thank you very much, Ayo Vincent. Jeff says Kogalo, then uh, MC Clue says, I hope you will give fine coverage. Yes, of course. Uh, George Odiambo, Sisi Kamawazito FC from Moroni here to Lichapa Tasca Ilim Chukue Cup. <laughs> Jutu Nawapenda Sana wishing you God, uh, <laughs> my uh, good luck. Uh, that is uh, George uh, from Wazito uh, side. Uh, Shimanyula Kita Kuramba Leo John Nambangi says that. And I can see now uh, the teams are getting ready in the field. The temperatures uh, are fine for a game like this today. I can also see the Gormaya Green Army with the drums, uh, your choir. Thank you very much, led by Toby Suba there. We have people like Tola. We have people like Tayadoka. We have also people uh, like uh, Kolo. All of them uh, actually doing it for Gormaya. Not forgetting every other person from the EC Executive uh, uh, Committee of Gormaya led by Ambrose Rachier, Secretary General Sam Ochola and the rest. Uh, also to our stewards, people like Oda, people like Barak, uh, all of them are gracing this uh, match today. And yes, the game will kick off in uh, a few or just uh, in, a, in a minute or so. We should see this game uh, on uh, and uh, well, uh, let's see what this encounter will yield uh, from uh, at this position and now Gormaya begin the game playing from right to left and Kakamega doing the opposite. Sylvester Wino in defense plays back to guard Matthews. Remember these teams have had a long break. The last time they played football was on the March also on the fourth of June this year. And now they are coming to do business here. Austin Odiambo with the ball. Austin Odiambo with the ball tries to find uh, Loasa, but Loasa didn't uh, really anticipate that kind of pass. Well, uh, it's the first minute of the game, and uh, Farouk Shikalo in goal for Kakamega Homeboys will uh, be starting the game. Yeah, I can see guys like uh, Duncan Ganji, Mayenga, Mayengo Pena, Eric uh, Okoth. Gore. So the ball begins again here in midfield and uh, it's won uh, by Kakamega Homeboys. Remember Kakamega Homeboys have uh, in their ranks uh, Moses Shuma who scored recently in Pakistan uh, when Gormaya played against uh, uh, Pakistan in the Four Nation uh, uh, tournament. Austin Odiambo, Austin Odiambo in box uh, but is dispossessed by the Kakamega Homeboys side. Uh, Luasa Peter Luasa Peter plays Shafiq Kagimu, Kagimu uh, finds uh, Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti, Simiti finds uh, Wahongo Sydney, Sydney uh, plays uh, Austin who goes down rather easily and Luasa now has the ball, Peter Luasa is uh, overpowered by the defense of uh, Kakamega Homeboys, yes and now 
it's a Kakamega Omboys who will be launching an attack from the right flank here. Played so well, and uh, it uh, will uh, be Sifuna Ambrose. Sifuna Ambrose, who did not manage to play well, and the ball goes out for a goal kick in favor of Gormaya. Yes, if you're joining us right now, remember this is a Kenya Premier League encounter pitting Gormaya FC and uh, Kakamega Homeboys. They call uh, themselves uh, uh, Kakamega Homeboys. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't know, Gormaya call themselves uh, Kogalo Mayenga Mayengo Peng, meaning uh, that uh, they are really shake the world. Yes, uh, this team, Kakamega Homeboys, was promoted to Kenya Premier League in the year 2013. That is approximately 10 years ago. And uh, they've not won any accolades so far in uh, these uh, uh, competitions in Kenya. Perhaps this time round, as they are playing the FKEF finals against Tasca FC, they could, if they win, get something nationally. But uh, at, as it is today, Kakamega Homeboys haven't won the Kenya Premier League even once. They are playing against a team that is thirsty to make it 20 titles and a record in uh, Kenya football. Remember, uh, Gormaia badly need this win today because if they happen to sleep, it would be disastrous. We'll be giving you live updates of uh, Gormai, uh, of uh, Tasca FC versus Posta Rangers, which is being played elsewhere in rural Raka, a match that Gormai fans will be looking at very, very keenly just to ensure that uh, Tasca doesn't really win and Gormai lose here because it would be an acrimonious end on Sunday 25th when Gormai will be hosting City Stars in this very, very venue. The ball is now in midfield played back to Sylvester. Sylvester finds uh, Dennis uh, Nganga Njire. Nganga Njire plays uh, Wahongo. Sydney who finds uh, Luasa. Luasa plays uh, to uh, Simiti Joffrey who today is captaining this side. A good one to Choga Paul. Choga Paul to Macharia. Macharia goes down and it would be a foul. Yes, sir. Uh, Yusuf bin Mariam, why are there no more fans? <laughs> Yusuf Mariam, you are a fan as well. You should come to the stadium and then uh, we ask that question together with you. However, the fans are showing up. The game has just started, so it's uh, been well. The drums are beating, the anthems are on, and uh, yes, it's business as we know. Ah, uh, Greg Awiri, we are here. Thank you, Greg Awiri. We have David uh, Kogalo Oe and uh, then uh, Nia Papa, all the way gore. Those are some of the live uh, uh, encounter. I mean, commentaries that we are getting from uh, this encounter on our YouTube page. Remember to subscribe on Gormaya uh, Football Kenya page on YouTube to get more of these highlights, more of happenings, more of updates, all on Gormaya FC. Masharia John plays Sydney Wahongo in midfield. Sydney doesn't really control the ball so well in midfield. It's dispossessed. And now Kakamega Homeboys will be having the ball. Kakamega Homeboys with the ball. Still Kakamega Homeboys played uh, to Chara Bryan in Kakamega's side. Shara plays uh, Robinson Kamura. And they're now surging forward. But then uh, the lady center referee says it's a throw in. Well, uh, we are here. And remember, we are doing like the fourth minute or so of the game. Still very early in this encounter, though. Sylvester Wino plays Paul Ochoga. Ochoga now finds Austin, who's come all the way back to play in defense. Remember, Austin is a natural number 10. Sylvester plays back to guard Matthews. Guard has the ball. Guard is still the leading... Uh, clean sheet goalkeeper 
of the season and now Geoffrey Simiti uh, has been dispossessed and this one looks dangerous for Gormaya still not yet uh, cleared well for Kakamega Omboys but then uh, well uh, Gormaya cleared the lines it looked rather dangerous for Gormaya because uh, Geoffrey Cheng was dispossessed at a very dangerous place and they could not help till the ball got into the box it's now a throw in for Gormaya and uh, Geoffrey Cheng Simiti will be throwing does a throw in to God Matthews in goal. God Matthews again. God finds Geoffrey. Geoffrey plays Loasa. Loasa plays Austin. Austin of the Ambo with the ball. Waongo Sydney. To Choga. Choga to Sylvester. And again, dispossessed in midfield. Well, uh, uh, so far, and this one is uh, offside. So far, Kakamega uh, doing so well in terms of intercepting passes and moves that Gurmai is launching in the midfield. And uh, it points to a really uh, a good awareness of the game right now. Now God begins in goal for Gormahia. Takes one. Dennis Njire. To Ochoga Paul. Ochoga finds Macharia. Macharia plays a good one and now Patrick Card was the ball. Card was the ball goes in, uh, brings a cross in. Uh, but... Uh, it's well uh, dealt with uh, by the defenders for Kakamega Omboys. It's going to be a throw in. Patrick Cardo actually started forward uh, so well, brought in uh, a juicy cross, but then uh, it went begging after the interception of uh, Kakamega Homeboys defenders. Remember, Patrick Cardo is starting in the place of Benson Omala, who is still the league's top scorer, followed so closely by. Rupia of Kenya Police who has 24 goals. Omala has 25 goals. Omala lost uh, his uh, shooting boots uh, the last five or so games and has not scored a goal. That drought has uh, made Rupia surge and surge close to challenging him for the golden boot. The ball goes out for a play, for, uh, out of the play. And it will be a throw in uh, by Paul Ochoga towards uh, Kakamega homeboy's side. Ochoga does the throw in to Sylvester. Sylvester Wino takes a long one, but uh, Farouk Shikalo says, you know, I'm so experienced. Remember, Owino played for this team, uh, Kakamega Homeboys. He knows this team so well. These are his former teammates before he joined Gormaya this season. He says, yes, if Omala is not around, I can still do the business for the club. And indeed, uh, Patrick Kadu now scores for Gormaya early in the game. And uh, this is indeed what Gormaya wanted uh, as uh, they begin. All the fans are now up uh, on their feet. And uh, the feel good uh, the feel <laughs> the feel good atmosphere in the stadium is felt right now so patrick Cadu registers uh, uh, that uh, for gormaya in the 10th minute the ugandan import just uh, confirming that uh, is here for business yes they begin kakamega homeboys now and now it will be a good one because they'll be chasing the game no more caution it will be chasing the game the drums have become louder around uh, Kasarani, signaling uh, some good feeling, signaling uh, the lead uh, that Gormaya has. This is uh, now getting uh, even uh, more feverish because uh, the fans love it. Here there, Mashari again. Mashari gets uh, Ochoga. Ochoga with the ball. Ochoga cuts in in the midfield. Then I find Suwango Sydney. Austin Odiambo to Geoffrey Ochien, who is the captain today. 
Then now again, uh, Dennis Njiru releases uh, a good one there. But, uh, well, Kakamega now are uh, in a hurry. They want to ensure that uh, this call line doesn't remain as it is for a long time. Well, uh, at the same, same time, I'm being informed that Tasca is also trailing Poster Rangers. Tasca is also trailing Poster Rangers. <laughs> By a solitary goal uh, at Ruraka, and uh, well, uh, things uh, look uh, things look uh, uh, <laughs> very very funny at this very early stages of this encounter. Well, uh, it's got my uh, playing here at Moy Sports Center International Kasarani, and uh, Dick Anam says Kume <laughs> Douglas Nyakundi, uh, we hear you. Uh, we also have uh, Isaac Onsogo <laughs> saying uh, Gor Watalazwa. Now in Gormaya defense again to Dennis Njire who misreads. Uh, he misread what, uh, where God was and gave a pass, uh, back pass that went all out for a corner. The first corner for Kakamega Homeboys. First corner for Kakamega Homeboys. A long one has been taken there, but then cleared off. Masharia plays it hard, still with Kakamega Homeboys. They take one, two, but then uh, again, uh, it's uh, well defended by the Gormaya side. Taken again uh, by Kakamega on boys side and it's gonna be a throw in. Well, uh, Kakamega on boys uh, showing every intention, not wanting to relent here. And uh, they're indicating they will uh, be contesting every move, every bit uh, of this encounter. Well, uh, a long throw in anticipated here. Indeed, a long Kakamega side. Well taken throw in by Kakamega. Intercepted in midfield. This midfield today is missing Ernest Wendo. Ernest Wendo misses even. Uh, he doesn't miss. Ernest Wendo is in the bench. And Sidney Wahongo is doing duty today in his place. So as it is, Gormaya leading here. That fall has been taken by Dennis Njire to Sylvester Owino. Sylvester Owino brings a long cross to Peter Luasa. Luasa finds uh, Austin. Austin Odiambo. Austin Odiambo is dispossessed. And now Shafiq Kagimo. Fouls Hilary Otieno. Well, Robinson Kamura wants to take it but leaves it for Farouk Shikalo, the goalkeeper. Still in midfield with the Kakamega homeboys. A cross that uh, is not uh, well uh, executed goes out of the field of play. Yes, we are doing 16 minutes of this game. Geoffrey Cheng throws uh, to guard in goal. Guard clears the ball, but again, uh, two Kakamega homeboys uh, players. This could be dangerous to go Maya. Another one to guard who clears again to Kakamega homeboys. And uh, it seems uh, they are winning all the midfield play here. And uh, Shafiq uh, Kagimo comes in to defend uh, so well. Well, as it is right now, Kakamega homeboys are winning all the first balls in midfield. And uh, this should really worry Gormaya because uh, then they will be under constant attacks from this team, Kakamega homeboys. Uh, God Matthews plays uh, with Dennis Njire in his box. Then takes a long one in search uh, of Kadu who doesn't get it. It's a handball. 
Austin Odiambo handles the ball and it will be a foul to be taken by Kakamega Homeboys. Well, uh, uh, Eric Abuya takes it very fast. Plays with Yambo Collins on the left flank. Collins raises a long one that goes out the field of play for a goal kick. God Matthews now will start in goal. <coughs> God Matthews still has the ball. Plays a long one again in search of uh, Luasa Peter. Seems all these crosses for Gormaya are in search of Peter Luasa, who, however, is diminutive in his stature and uh, I know would not contest such gay balls even if they came so high. And uh, <laughs> that is a disadvantage uh, for Luasa, but then uh, is a, a very pacey winger when he's on the ball. Geoffrey Ching Smithy plays now Peter Luasa. Luasa with the ball. Now Austin has the ball. Austin on the with the ball. Gives a good one here to Patrick Cardu who surges on but uh, then uh, goalkeeper Farouk Shikalo comes into play to help it out. Well, uh, it's uh, about 20 minutes of this game played. And I'm joined here by my co-commentator, none other than uh, Manuel uh, King himself, who will uh, join me in this commentary booth to help it out. So the game goes on as uh, we welcome uh, King Manuel. Where my the ball, Paul Uchuga. Uchuga is possessed. In midfield, Kakamega Homeboys on the left flank doing so well in terms of the play, but then uh, that's a, a rather hard charge on uh, Hilary Otieno. Karibu sana. Yes, Nick, it's been a minute. Two minutes 15 now as the game is going on we are seeing what we wanted to see when we come to Kasarani today <laughs> Gormaya well, having a one nil lead against Kamega Homeboys and I remember Kamega Homeboys a tough team to beat but God there on the ascendancy and only one victory or two depending on how the other games go on today and we'll sure keep you posted on how the other games are happening Tasca in Roraka, KCB away in Zoya, big three teams that are battling out for the Kenya Premier League 2023 Championship. Well, uh, you say this is the kind of scoreline that Gormaya wanted to see and then they also want to hear from the other side what it is. That is what it's supposed to be. I think I'm now okay. You are okay. Thank you. So now, uh, as it is, uh, it's uh, about uh, 22 minutes played. Uh, how is uh, the other team in Sudi doing? Because uh, uh, that is uh, very important Not for us. Not only Sudi. <laughs> the other one is in Ruaraka. Uh, the Ruaraka one already, we have uh, the head. Updated in Sudi, in Zoya, nil. Yeah. KCB, nil. Yeah. Uh, 25 minutes played. Madare, one. Ulinzi, nil. Remember, Madare are fighting for their life. In yeah. Nyayo, Leopards are trailing Sofa Paka 1 nil. Bandari in Baraki nil nil to Karibangi Sharks. And Wazito, remember that guy? And remember that name. Wazito leading 1 nil against Bidco. <laughs> well, uh, there the updates come to you as they are right now. And uh, well, uh, the match that everybody is looking at right now is uh, the match uh, against uh, uh, Tasca. And it's still too early in the game, uh, King Manuel. Uh, uh, too early. It's too, too early. It's These it. games can still either swing. You to have to wait for the fat lady to sing. <laughs> Remember the game we did with you in Nayo? That yeah. game for Poster Rangers. Poster Rangers. And I hope they'll do the same to Tasca today <laughs> in, in Raraka. But you never know. You never know. A lot has happened, and a lot happens in football. A minute can be a lifetime, and a minute can change everything. 
Yeah, of course, uh, and that's why Gormaya cannot lower their guard right now. They must remain uh, where they are if they have to win this and pray that Tasca doesn't really show up today because then they will be wrapped as the champions at the end of this match if Tasca is beaten in Ruaraka. They're looking for their 20th uh, league. And remember, not only Gormaya, but also we're looking at that young boy, Benson Omala, who's at 25. And boy, how do we hope that he would get a minute or two in this game and try to beat the record that was set by Maurice Sonier in 1976. Yeah, Omala, Omala kind of uh, lost his shooting boots. I just mentioned that a little bit earlier. He lost his shooting boots uh, about uh, five or six games ago and he has not been uh, showing up any time. And uh, it's a worrying but we thing. But we saw him play away in uh, Mauritius. Not a bad show. Yeah, For yeah. five minutes, that he tried his best, although uh, that was a really, really scrappy game against Mauritius. But now he's back. We hope uh, that he's starting from the bench. If he gets that opportunity... I'm sure Omala at any time is a player you'd put all your money in, <laughs> put your rent, put your school fees on Omala to score <laughs> on any day and he will deliver. Thank you very much. Now there is a foul to be taken by Gormaya on, uh, uh, on the left flank and uh, yes, uh, it's uh, the same, same kind of uh, cross that came and the Patrick Cardo netted. This should be of interest to Gormaya fans. I can see Masharia there. I can see Dennis Njire as well. And uh, yes, Njire will bring in the cross and uh, it's added out by Kakamega Omboys. The ball goes on and uh, Njire has been adjudged to have committed a foul. Dennis Njire again missing out on the Rambe Stars lineup to Mauritius. And uh, again, uh, everybody wondering why Dennis Njire didn't uh, make uh, the party to Mauritius. But then, it's football and Firat. No, he said that there'll be an opportunity for all. And I think Njire deserves a place in that back four. We hope that he'll get that opportunity sooner or later. Indeed, indeed. If you ask me, this is one player I would not even think twice to put in my team because of the confidence he brings into the game and the controls. In fact, his awareness in defense is second to none right now in uh, the Kenyan Premier League. We are doing a minute number 26 of this play and uh, Gormaya towards uh, goal there but uh, intercepted well by Farouk Shikalo. You know, battle hardened in that midfield, a player who can take it all for the team. You know, uh, Wendo, no, no, no discredit uh, with him but I think if you look at the game as it is right now, uh, I think uh, Sydney Wahongo has just come in form at the right time. Okay, and uh, today, uh, for the first time, this time this season, I've seen uh, Ernest Wendo just not starting, though is that he doesn't not starting, though is that he doesn't have any issues, and uh, it uh, shows uh, the coach side. The skies have really opened, and the sun is shining gloriously at uh, Moy Sports Center National Kasarani. Now Patrick Kadu goes in there, but uh, well, uh, is uh, cut out uh, by Robinson Kamura, who does uh, a scissor kick. Geoffrey Ocheng Simiti goes in for the throw, throws one in, but uh, doesn't reach the target. Sylvester Owino standing tall again. Like I told you, Sylvester Owino is a former player of Kakamega Homeboy. On Sylvester Owino by his former teammates. Well, uh, here on the live chats, I can see uh, David Otieno <laughs> asking Guinea Podia. I don't know why he's asking that. Okay, Steve Otieno says, got to win. Uh, Kennedy Odiambo, Kogalo, my team, uh, Chuadngato. All these are coming uh, fast and furious. William Onyango, uh, you say network? But uh, I think uh, uh, it's uh, supposed to be okay by now. So the game, uh, the game goes on. Nick, did you just talk Greek there? No. Ch Chadgato. <laughs> Chuad uh, oh, Chuadngato. 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 Chuadngato actually means, uh, ah. uh, you know, uh, beat somebody. <laughs> uh -huh. Aha. That, that's, that's a new Greek. <laughs> that's a new Greek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, Dolo sometimes sounds like, uh, you know, very fancy and uh, well-meaning language. So... It happens like uh, we say it's a uh, chuadengato, beat somebody. 
so win against uh, Kakamega homeboys. Maybe that's what they are saying. Well, uh, Kakamega homeboys here will have a foul to be taken towards uh, Gormaya side. The homeboys will be taking this. A good one has been taken into goal, but then uh, goalkeeper Gad Matthews plays well. Uh, during that very moment, uh, there was an infringement. I could see a player going down there, Gormaya player. I'll let you know exactly who that uh, uh, player was. And Nick, even as the game goes on, Gad is also on another record. Gad is looking for the golden glove. I think uh, 15 to 16 clean sheets in this season. 16 so far. He's yeah. got 16 clean sheets. Uh, Gada and is vying for clean sheet uh, and the golden glove uh, at the end of the season. We, the season comes uh, comes to comes to an end, of course, uh, over the weekend, uh, and uh, that is uh, all that uh, matters now. 30 minutes played at the Moise Post Center, the National Kasarani. The ball goes out for a throw in. In midfield now. Still passes not going well for Gormaya in midfield. And now Joffrey plays uh, the ball out. Well, something is happening here, King. Uh, Gormaya are not finding fluidity. Much, the, much as they are leading right now, uh, we're not seeing fluidity, we're not seeing uh, football like it's supposed to be from Gormaya's side. It looks so scrappy. Uh, disjointed passes. We've not seen Masharia in his element like he was during uh, uh, the Ulinzi game, and uh, it begs the question: Why? And I think I think that two-week break uh, must have dealt a bit for teams like Gorma here. You know, they had just begun going up and you know, playing together and gelling much more better. The two-week international break might have worked against Gor, but Nick, I, I think it's too early to panic. They don't need to play the ball much more together, try to push it more in the final third and avoid that ball being so much on their end. If they can do that and hold on, then I think uh, a victory will be uh, their portion. Uh, Ochin Collins says he's watching from Nyali, Mombasa. Go, go, the Green Army. Well, uh, the Green Army are playing against Kakamega homeboys and now Kadu dispossesses uh, 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 the defender and uh, again he goes out so, he goes down so clumsily and I wonder what's happening. <laughs> uh, players sometimes would really make you laugh uh, even if you're doing this kind of commentary. Well, he wins a, uh, he wins a good ball, Patrick Kadu. Then uh, after winning the ball, instead of now making something good out of it, he also goes down rather so easily and challenged and you wonder what's wrong again. A throw in for Gormaya now by Captain uh, Geoffrey Chen. Chen now here. Chen finds, uh, is it lower, sir? And uh, that's a foul. Well, you've talked about the two-week break. Uh, I think the two-week break should have been beneficial to them in the sense that they, by now they should be more fresher, they should be more focused because uh, they didn't have to train so agitatively like it is when you have games back to back. Again, Nick, uh, at times it can work in both ways. A, we a break can help you if you are not in the right form, but a break can also stop a good run by the teams. If the team was playing well, like Gore, you know, picking up win after win after win, despite playing after every four days, when you give them the break, then the players go down a bit, ascendancy goes down. But you know, for a team that was not doing well, a break can be, you know, a good as a rest. Good, good, good analysis uh, from uh, my co-commentator here, King Manuel. And uh, yes, Farouk Chikalo in his element uh, was trying uh, to be cheeky with the ball, uh, but again, uh, he did it. Now the ball is with Gad Matthews in goal. Gad Matthews now finds Sylvester on the right flank. Sylvester finds Paul Ochoga. Ochoga back to Sylvester Owino. Sylvester Owino looks over to whom he would play this and then gives uh, Masharia the ball. Masharia finds Uchuga in midfield. Uchuga now finds Austin and uh, now Austin again loses uh, the ball but it's adjudged to be a handball. So it would be 
taken towards uh, Kakamega on boy side. Already taken so fast. Kagim Mushafik doing it there. The ball goes out of the field of play. Yes, sir. Uh, if you are joining us right now, we are live from Moy Sports Center International Kasarani. This match is brought to you live uh, via Gormaya TV. I'm your commentator, Nico Kelo, together with uh, King Manuel here, doing this business for you, ensuring that you get every minute, every action, and the way it goes down here. As it is right now, the ball is with Kakamega Homeboys. They are charging forward. And uh, now, this is a good run by Kakamega Homeboys. Good one played. And uh, Amway Kevin seems to be tormenting Gormaya here. Patrick Kadu now has the ball on uh, this other flank. Patrick Kadu with the ball. He looks where to play. Finds uh, Shafiq. I uh, mean, is brought down. But so Chuga has the ball still. The ball will be played again to Masharia. Masharia goes back uh, and uh, plays uh, Sylvester Owino. They'll have to begin again uh, this build up and now Dennis Njire has the ball. Plays to Austin Odiambo. Austin Odiambo. Odiambo Austin plays uh, Masharia. Masharia has the ball but then uh, unable to control it again there. And uh, the ball is now with Kakamega Ombo. It's Sylvester Owino here. With, uh, this is a goal. Uh, a nice goal. Uh, a uh, nice goal one on one. Uh, this is uh, a nice goal that has taken Gormaya by a big, uh, big uh, shock. Just look at the pace. Sylvester Owino could do nothing to stop. Uh, uh, this is Sifuna Ambrose, uh, number 14. Is this Sifuna Ambrose, number 14? This, I told you, Nick. This is uh, it's funny, a goal from nothing. I told you, Nick, they have nothing. to play that ball much more in their opponent half. If they allow yeah. Kakamega homeboys to dictate, Kakamega homeboys as you know, better players, they're, they're younger, they're faster. And not only that who has scored, but also they have uh, Kenyan international Moses Schumer, who scored the goal in Mauritius. So they have to be very careful because leaving Kakamega homeboys to run yeah. the play, then is going to be detrimental for them. It is already detrimental because uh, I didn't expect uh, Gormaya to be playing such a, a clumsy kind of game. Allowing Kakamega homeboys to play in the midfield, will win all the fast balls, play into their half. And uh, indeed, uh, since they consider the first goal, Kakamega homeboys have shown a serious, serious character in wanting to really get this game. So, as they promised, they didn't come here as tourists. They came here to play football and it would really, really destabilize Gormaya. It's 1-1. 1-1, one, one, a goal scored in the 35th uh, minute of the game. And now Gormaya really have uh, a task here to really climb and climb and climb. It's going to be difficult. It's 1-1 one, one at after him. And now, again, uh, Gad Matthews would not be enjoying a clean Another sheet. Clean sheet here. And again, um, uh, Nick, you never, you never celebrate before you get everything. And Gore, as you know them, should have pushed for more goals, but not yet over. Uh, lucky they are not down. It's only 1-1. One, one. If they can get one more and try and defend that to the end, probably they'll have a chance. But right now they put themselves in a very, very, very uh, precarious situation because that's what Kakamega Hombo is wanted. Get that one away goal and then sit back and hold on. With Farouk in goal, uh, those are players who are experienced and they know how to waste time and probably hold on to a lead. Yeah, and uh, the busting pace that it is that we've seen from Kakamega homeboys is telling our Gormaya defenders who are caught napping in this. And uh, it looks like uh, they didn't even anticipate any kind of run like that. And Sylvester Wino is uh, the one who should have done something about that move. Again, he watched it helplessly as it went between the feet of... Uh, uh, God Matthews and now Gormaya really have uh, themselves to blame for this. They really have to run now, win all the balls. The first balls must be won in midfield. Uh, King Manuel, in any football encounter, if you can't win the first balls in midfield, definitely you'll be constantly under pressure. You'll be attacked more and you might make mistakes like the one they've just made and indeed conceded. And, and again, Nick, not only winning that first ball, but being very quick on your attack being very purposeful when you have that ball what gore has been doing you know just trying to hold and play you can't do that with kakamega homeboys they're a big team remember they're in the fk uh, no uh, cup final so they have a lot 
on their plate, God cannot underrate them. Yeah, indeed. And uh, they are showing every sign that they are not even going to be pushovers in uh, that final against Tasca. Because already what they are displaying here is uh, good football, if you ask me. Kakamega Humbo is giving every good account of themselves in this encounter that everybody else thought that after playing out playing Lins in the last encounter, Gor should have had a rather uh, well-controlled game, but that has not come. No, uh, Kakamega Humbo, of course, they, they are, you know, they are uh, a lot of pressure coming from their chairman uh, Totoshi Manula. he really said he wants to come to Nairobi to beat Gore he doesn't care who will win the league he doesn't care who will whatever will happen he wants to beat two teams he wants to beat Gore today and he wants to beat Tasca in the cup final so for him the players know it's win 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 or go home Indeed, and they're living up to that as it is right now showing every signs that they are not here to just come and tour Nairobi from Kakamega. They are here for business. And uh, this is uh, really now monumental uh, climb for Gormaya because now you have to win. And now again, they are dispossessed at a very dangerous place. Uh, this could be dangerous again for Gormaya. And yes, God now to the rescue. Just what we've said right now. Shuma, that was Marcel Shuma with that good uh, shot. Thank God for God for saving there, and he saved Gormaya's blushes in that play. And again, complacency, and I told you, Nick, always when you get a break in between a league run, then it becomes very difficult for you to adjust. Well, Silvestro Wino becoming uh, the weakest link so far in uh, defense. The goal uh, that has just come in and now is gotten, is, is got, he's been dispossessed at a very dangerous place. And if it were not for God, then Kakamega would be two goals up by now. And you need to tell me where is the uh, captain? Uh, Philemon Otieno. I don't know where he is. I don't know he, he, I, he's on the bench. what is on the bench. What is he doing in the bench? Uh, two games know. to the end of the season? You wonder. That's and this should be a goal. This should be a goal for Kadu. But, uh, well, uh, he's failed to control that. Everybody is asking why he didn't, uh, with the experience that he's got, uh, uh, Philemon perhaps would uh, support, would support uh, uh, Owino Sylvester more better than exactly. Ochoga would do. Uh, and Philemon I think, uh, tried and tested, has played in the national team, has played in the Cup of Nations, has yeah. been in this league for a long time. And if, if you it, ask me, you need Philemon more than you need Ochoga in that back line. And if uh, and if I must also concur with you, if you look at uh, if you look at uh, all the all, all the attacks coming from that end, uh, it is Ochoga who is out of position like he's, every other he, time. Yeah, he's going up and yeah. not coming back and down. He's not falling back to support Sylvester. Definitely, so the pressure is building on Sylvester, and definitely mistakes like that must always come. So the, in that case, we'd say form is temporary, class is permanent. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a corner has been taken here, and uh, it's uh, added out by Kakamega Ombe, who have really uh, made sure that ball goes out of play. Osin uh, Oziambo brings in uh, a very nice corner, but then uh, Kakamega deals with it so well. Ochoga with the ball again. This player, Ochoga, to me, Young. Looks, uh, he looks like Trent Alexander Arnold of yes. Liverpool. Yeah? One <laughs> game he play good, and yeah, the is, next game yeah, is more attack minded uh, than uh, a defender, and, and uh, always is off position and can be caught off position many times in a game. Yeah, I hope he learn uh, with that mistake and try not to attack much more because he's on the same wing with, with Masharia. Yeah. What he needs to do is just take care of the bo uh, back line and don't go uh, so high so that then you don't expose your central uh, defenders. Yeah, that's uh, all that is, uh, is needed here because he's exposing Sylvester so much and uh, Sylvester as uh, uh, a fleet-footed player <laughs> who is really dealing with him, that is Sefuna Ambrose who seems to be uh, having uh, some blistering pace. Whenever he's on the ball, Sylvester cannot catch up and uh, it uh, again tells why people like Philemon Otieno are needed. And that is a hard shot, hard shot uh, from uh, the captain. Farouk Shikalo could not deal with it. He just fumbled on it and uh, it went out for a throw in. And now uh, a long throw anticipated here from uh, the captain. And let's see now what this will yield. Geoffrey Cheng takes a long throw in, but uh, again, not well headed out. And Masharia. That is Shafiq Kagimo, 
uh, plays it uh, out of the field of play. Yes, uh, these are observations that are being made here. Uh, we can see <laughs> uh, guys, uh, some of them not very happy with uh, the results so far. Uh, Sylvester Wino should be benched or it is Paul Ochoga not playing his part. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> these are live chats that are coming and uh, these are Gogalo fans who are also watching this game live and uh, they are taking things uh, very seriously and these are their clean and fair observations as uh, fans. Yes, towards Gormaya side, Kakamega homeboys will be attacking. Masharia playing Kadu and Kadu was pushed by by Eric uh, Collins of the Ambo rather for Kakamega homeboys and now we break for half time it's a break for half time Neil Wazito one FC Leopards nil, Sofapaka one, Madara United one, Ulinzi nil, Zoya Sugar nil, KCB one, that's a uh, uh, no funny score there, Police FC three, Vihiga one, and Elvis Rupia has gotten one of the three goals, so... So it's level with Omala on Actually, I've been told Rupia has scored the second goal of the third, yeah. so now they are level with Omala on 25. 25 goals each. And then the last game of the day, Tasca Nil Rangers won in Raraka, but all these are halftime scores. Whatever will happen in the second half, it's beyond us. It's only God who can tell us what will happen. When we come back, King and Nick on Goldmeyer TV. No, It is the defender who let down. That judgment was right because but you are already at pace, uh, Sylvester. It's not over until it's over for the one gig game. I took a live.
All right, welcome back to the Mo International Sports Center Kasarani, where we're having the second last game of the 2022-2023 FKF Premier League between table toppers Gorma here and a very stubborn Kakamega homeboys team led by their chairman Cleo Toto Shimanyula. And when he came, when they left Kakamega, they say they're coming to Nairobi not to play the game, but to win the game. So far, it's 1-1 in the game, and uh, we are about to start the second half. I'm King, joined by my fellow commentator, Nick. Nick, what do you have, and what do you think the game will go in the second half? Uh, definitely, definitely my, my take is... Uh, very early substitutions the coach if i were to be asked a motor coach i would uh, really go for ns Wendo, bring in bajaj and uh, then bring in philemon for stability at the defense that is uh, perhaps uh, a very early plan to stabilize the game and uh, at least uh, make uh, now forward runs where I think Bajaj would uh, bring in crosses and Kadu is a good uh, player, airborne player. At least another goal would be coming. But uh, uh, if he stays for so long and uh, Kakamega homeboys come into the game so strong like they did in the first half, then uh, it would be again a mountain to climb for Gorma here. All right, Nick there. I think your prayers have been answered. I'm just looking at the team sheet and Bajaj, Boniface. Omondi number 21 has checked in so uh, you, you're a prophet I hope you're not from Shakahola <laughs> I'm not from Shakahola of course a good one there and will you pray it's a goal oh. it is out in Odiambo out in Odiambo in the very first and second minute of the second half that's what you do sends uh, the fans into a frenzy in Kasarani what a shot a good, 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 and a nice setup by Patrick Cadu, who is the scorer of the first goal. Austin Odiambo takes a ferocious left footer that Farouk Shikalo could not entertain doing anything with. He only found it <laughs> shaking the net. And now the chance of Gorbiro Yauneo rent the air in Kasarani. King Manuel, what's your take about this uh, very immediate response of the first second minute of the second half? I think, Nick, we talked about it. Patrick Kadu, give credit to him. That is a player and a half. He's a number nine. He's so little. He can give the ball to any player. You know, when they, he sees a player is free, he'll not go and you know, try and score by his own. He saw us in there gave him the ball and even Bajaj Boniface Omondi was on the left wing should have been a goal by him but Austin Odiambo doing what he was brought for from Ingwe helping go to win the 20th championship I hope it will stay that way let's see then what happens because already that is an immediate response and an intention that uh, yes Gormaya are back in business we hope that we will not see the lethargy and the laxity that we saw after the first goal in the, in the first half where Gormaya lowered their guard and now allowed Kakamega homeboys to play again. Seems McKinstry has read the riot act in the dressing room and the uh, immediate results is what Gormaya wanted and they got it. And now another one there taken towards uh, Kakamega homeboys goal and now Bajaj is uh, fresh from landing from uh, Mauritius and uh, he will be now taking paces on that very end. It's now on the Gormaya side, Dennis uh, Njire Nganga playing uh, to uh, his goalkeeper, not rather goalkeeper, but uh, Sylvester Owino. Masharia with the ball, but adds it to nobody, goes to Farouk Shikalo. Shikalo on the ball, Shikalo now plays a long one that is added out uh, by Sylvester Owino. A long throw has come in immediately. Uh, this one uh, is uh, going to be dealt with by Gormaya and a shot. Uh, what a shot. What a shot from Kakamega homeboys. King Manuel, this team is deadly. Never underrated them. <laughs> they remind this me of team is deadly. yesterday 
Brazil and Senegal. <laughs> Brazil were leading that game. Yeah. Senegal came back and won it. 4-2. Determination that yeah. Kakamega Homo is having in this game should not be taken lightly. It's something that I've never seen again because they are giving Golmaya much as they are receiving and then it makes this game very, very competitive. And uh, I can see Kakamega Homo is sending guys for warm-up very early into the game, including uh, uh, Agwanda Joey. Of formerly of Gormaya. Bajaj has the ball. Austin has the ball now. Back to Bajaj. Bajaj with the ball. Bajaj brings a good cross in here that finds uh, Masharia with the ball now. Masharia, Masharia John takes one, two, plays back uh, to Ochoga. I wonder why he didn't cross it into the box. And then now Sylvester Owino will uh, play guard in goal. Well, uh, the game seem now to have gotten another tempo it's a now a fast paced game Sydney Wahongo playing in place uh, for Ernest Wendo and now Bajaj with the ball again Bonifaz Bajaj Bonifaz Bajaj with the ball he takes one there that's defended desperately by Kakamega homeboys and yes that is the pace that uh, was lacking on that flank King Manuel that's what we paid for that's what the fans have paid for come and see free-flowing football from both teams and I think this is a good match if for neutrals I think is a match that they're watching I know for gold they're a bit tight the fans really want the win they don't care how they win it for homeboys they also want that win to maintain their tempo but for the neutral this is a game and a half Indeed, a game and a half. We've been treated to some very, very entertaining first five minutes of uh, this game. And uh, the ball now goes uh, back to Gormaya side. It's uh, played off the pitch by Sylvester Owino, formerly of Kakamega Homeboys. A throw in uh, is taken very fast by Eric Abuya. Abuya plays and uh, then uh, a long cross into the box, but is added out by Dennis Njire. Kakamega Homeboys with the ball again. Another cross into the box, added out this time round uh, by Sydney Waongo. And now Austin Odiambo with the ball, plays it to Owino. Owino finds Ochoga. Ochoga here. Ochoga plays Masharia. Masharia is taken down and it would be a foul. Well, uh, just like uh, King Manuel uh, said, uh, this team has uh, some serious determination to play. And... Uh, I dare you, if you joke with Kakamega homeboys, they can really embarrass. Gad Matthews in goal plays uh, Dennis Njire. Njire plays Sylvester now. Sylvester takes uh, a long one there. A good ball by Kadu. Kadu would give a chase in goal, but uh, Farouk Shikalo has it. Well played in midfield. Ochoga, back to Ochoga again. Dennis Njire plays a long one. Ball in midfield, taken by Wahongo Sydney. But then uh, again, Masharia is really finding it rough uh, in the hands of uh, uh, Shara Bryan. Ball goes out for a throw in. Mashari again with the ball. On the left flank. The ball goes out for a fellow play and it would be a throw in. Geoffrey Cheng on the left flank throws it to look for Austin but uh, uh, doesn't really find his uh, target. Ball again. Played well by Kadu. Kadu indeed uh, a number nine player who plays like uh, a number ten. Very interesting to watch. Sydney Wahongo to Ochoga Paul. John Paul Ochoga plays again uh, here to Kadu. Dennis Njire to Wino Sylvester. Ochoga to Sylvester. To Ochoga again. And now to Sydney Waongo. Sydney Waongo plays Kadu. And Kadu comes down. It's now a very serious uh, football business. We are watching before us here in uh, Kasarani. And uh, well, uh, a long chase here 
to guard Matthews, who plays the ball way out of play. And a long throw-in would be executed here. A long throw-in would be executed here by Kakamega homeboys. It's going to be long indeed. <laughs> Judging from uh, the way the preparation is being made, a long throw here to goal my goal, but uh, well uh, played out of danger. And Patrick Cardo now has the ball. And now Masharia, Masharia John, will he get the better of this defender? But uh, he lacks the pace to chase down the ball. Benson Omala getting ready. I can see Benson Omala getting ready to join. Considering that now, Rupia has equaled Omala's uh, uh, number of goals. It's going to be very interesting. Rupia of Kenya Police now has 25 goals. Same to Omala, 25. And now the race for the Golden Boot is becoming even more ferocious. And now on um, the left wing, uh, Bajaj played out of play. And it will be a throw in for Gormaya. Remember, this is also the last game of Gormaya as a home team this season. The remaining last game, Gormaya will be away to City Stars just here in Kasarani. And now the ball is in the midfield. We can hardly swallow even some pint of <laughs> saliva. And that's a, almost a goal. And it's a goal. 2-2. Two -two. It is 2-2. Two -two. Oh my God, what a team. What stubbornness is this? And I told you. What stubbornness is this? I told In you the 56th minute, Kakamega homeboys score again. You give them they bring it back to you. You give them, they give it back to you. And that is a, is a sign of a good team. I told you, uh, Nick, you can't underrate the Kakamega homeboys. They deserve to be where they are. They deserve to be in the final of the, you know, of the Kenyan Domestic Cup. And now they've showed you, you give them space, they're going to the, go the whole mile. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm taken aback by that. <laughs> and, and again, the defense, where are they? Anytime that ball is short, nobody is putting their body on the line, and then nobody is marking for the rebound. And Gormaya are making a change. Patrick Kadu comes out for Omala. Do you think it's a? Did you agree with that kind of? It's a, a change? fair change. I think Kadu was a bit, a bit uh, tired uh, on that change. Of course, Omala coming in, like for like, everybody would like Omala to be that game. But if you ask me about today, Kadu was in a good form. And I just hope that they would have played a 4-4-2 and allow Kadu and Omala to strike together and we see what they have. It's uh, interesting. I mean, uh, we, uh, goal after goal. And Kakamega are showing that they respond to everything that is being thrown to them. This is crazy. Gormaya are now <laughs> again finding themselves uh, at uh, par with the Kakamega homeboys, a team that is visiting, something that is not very, very common with the teams that visit here. Uh, defenders, wake up, please. Uh, this is what is being told by Amos Ogola, who is watching this game and uh, giving us his live chats. And Nick, I have information coming from Roraka. Yeah. Tasca have pulled the goal back. Yeah. Tasca yeah. one, Rangers one, and now that puts a lot of pressure on goal. They have to ensure that for the remaining time, they either win the game but avoid losing it. It is now Tasca one, Kenya. Uh, Tasca one and uh, Posta Rangers one. This is what is happening now. Gormaya two. <laughs> And the Kakamega homeboys too. So it's all square for the contenders. The two topmost contenders are all square again. A throw in for Kakamega homeboys. This team is still determined to get a win in this encounter. Let's see how they play now with the Kakamega homeboys. The ball goes out. And uh, well, uh, I can see the second uh, assistant referee signaling uh, something but the game seems to be going on kakamega homeboys now bring in another swinger here headed out by dennis njire and uh, a push that has been 
occasion by Kakamega Homeboys here and now the Kakamega Homeboys will be making here a change. Okanda Felician will be replaced by jersey number 45 Masha Gaeta. Well, uh, uh, this is a midfielder for a midfielder and uh, this one tells you what Patrick Odiambo, formerly a tactician of Gormaya, is planning with this team. And uh, they see it's possible to win this encounter. Remember Gormaya won 1 nil courtesy of uh, Kavuchi's goal in Bukungu. But then uh, today, Kakamega Omboys have come here to show they are no pushovers. And now this one comes, but uh, to nobody. Farouk Shikalo releases. Uh, this one, but then Dennis Njire is pushed off the ball by Kevin Amwai. Well, uh, a yellow card has been uh, dished out here for a rough play uh, that was uh, uh, really a rough play. Rough play on Ochoga by Hilary Otieno who goes into the referee's book <coughs> and now Austin Odiambo and Masharia are consulting here on who to execute this free kick Masharia will take it Masharia brings in a swinger that uh, is flagged for offside. Well, uh, we are doing uh, a 2 2 for Gormaya, 1 1 for Tasca at Ruaraka, and it's becoming even more interesting. The Kenya Premier League season almost drawing to an end. Uh, the second last game, these two games are being watched so much by football lovers across the country. And now Gormahia here find themselves too square. Benson Omala already in the field of play, but has not had any shot, has not had any action, and Masharia really doesn't control that ball so well. Still, uh, this game has lost its earlier flair, where we would see attack after attack. And the Kakamega homeboys are giving uh, much as they are having. And I think Nick, Go should not lose what they have been doing all season long. Playing the one two from back and attacking through the wings. They shouldn't get carried away and start playing the long balls being played by Kakamega homeboys. Because that's what Kakamega homeboys are good at. The long balls, you know, and chase up at eight. Go should just take their time, you know, play the ball from the back. And, and try and get the goal. They should not panic at all. And then Ochuga, Ochuga throws in the ball to an, an opponent. It is this kind of complacency that uh, worries me with uh, some of these players of Gormaya. You, you have a throw in at an advantaged position. You make a hurried throw in that goes to an opponent. And uh, now you are on attack once again. Probably not even aware what what is happening. Not even aware. Probably not even seeing the green and the white. And that kind of a player should have no business in that field of play. Yeah, as of now, uh, the coach should have uh, brought in uh, Philemon for this because uh, ideally it's uh, really disturbing to see things like this in a field of play. Masharia dispossessed easily again, and Kakamega Homeboys are now launching an attack here. It is uh, Sifuna again, a long one uh, taken, but uh, the defense stands tall. Uchuga on the ball now. Plays uh, Sydney. Sydney looking for Bajaj. Will he get him? Yes, he gets him, but uh, didn't uh, uh, really control the ball so well. A throw in to Gormaya. Already done. Into the midfield. And now, the ball gets uh, to Ochuga. Ochuga, again... Uh, That's wasteful, if you ask me. I mean... <laughs> what kind of play is that? I, I, don't, I hope Ochoga is not playing rugby in a football pitch. 
Just try and, and get your midfielders, look for the angle, look for the 45, get into that box and try and score the goal. You can never score from midfield. And uh, again, uh, when uh, a game is tight as it is, every ball you take forward must be meaningful. You know, you can't play games and balls and throw them in uh, just like that when uh, you are under pressure. Throw in uh, to Kakamega homeboys. Taken uh, by Ezia Eston. Kakamega homeboys still on the ball. Sylvester stands tall. And now Omala will be challenging for this. Omala has the ball. And now Omala one on one with the keeper. Based on Omala with the ball, he should have uh, just shot. <laughs> he should have just shot because he was one on one uh, with Farouk Shikalo. Benson Omala shouldn't have looked over. He should have shot straight. Well, it's a corner for Gon Maya here. And, uh, well, Masharia would be taking that corner. Masharia will be taking that corner. John Masharia for Gon Maya. And that push and pull on that goalkeeper line. I, I hope the ref is very hawk-eyed to see any infringement there. And now the ball comes here. Farouk Shikalo does what he does best. Going down, wasting time. That's now, Farouk Shikalo. Now he has to really uh, ease off the pressure. Absolutely have not having been uh, knocked by anybody. But then uh, sometimes goalkeepers also know how to play act. And that it's, that's what it is when uh, we get at this point. And now Kakamega homeboys have uh, done a change. They are doing a change here, is it? Kakamega homeboys about to bring in uh, Okoth Gospel. Kakamega Ombo is preparing to bring uh, Okoth Gospel. Farouk Shikalo plays a long one. And that's an infringement that will be taken so fast by Gormaya. It's a foul. Already taken. Geoffrey Ching. Plays to Sylvester. Sylvester finds Omala, Omala finds uh, Bajaj. Bajaj uh, finds Ochuga. Ochuga with the ball. Ochuga brings in a good cross that, uh, well, uh, is added out for a corner. Well, uh, that cross... That's better. That's better now. Better from goal. They don't need to keep on doing that. They have a lot of time. More than 20 minutes to go. They can still make it. Just make sure that that ball, you know, kisses the ground every time and attack through the wing and uh, i believe austin will be giving uh, that but added out of danger by kakamega homeboys a throw in here to be executed by uh, the present team captain this is uh, joffrey oching simiti simiti throws it but again played out of the field of play by kakamega homeboys well, uh, when football is at this level and uh, the coach doesn't seem disturbed, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't uh, look like he wants to make any changes, doesn't look like there will be any substitution. Uh, I mean, what does, it, what does it tell? It's about option and the quality you have. Maybe the quality he has on the pitch is the best that he can, you know, bring <laughs> together at the moment. He looking at the bench, not knowing who to bring. However, I think the players have done well so far. It's been a long season, and I, I, I just have a feeling that if they play better than they've done in the first hour of the game, Go should be able to win this game. Shafiq Kagemo now playing Austin. Austin Odiambo. Odiambo finds Omala, and uh, that one goes out. That goes out, and Farouk Shikalo went for Omala instead of the ball. They all missed the ball eventually. Omala should have put his leg there, because any time you put that leg, get the ball, and the referee fouls you, it's a penalty. I don't know why he was afraid of putting his leg, but 
Oh, well, that's story for another day. <laughs> well, uh, Mala still young and uh, learning the tricks of the game. But then, uh, with that kind of a cross, one on one with the goalkeeper for the second time, he should have done better. It is uh, number uh, 42 coming in, uh, going out. This is Moses Schumer. Remember, he scored uh, in uh, uh, he scored against Pakistan. And uh, we also have Amway Kevin coming out. And uh, we have uh, uh, Bemelo, Christopher coming in, and uh, well, of course, Gospel as well. And now this is what uh, really uh, I'm asking. Uh, Kakamega Ombo is pushing all the subs. <laughs> Gormai uh, McKinstry looks collected and uh, calm. I think he knows, he knows that the boys can deliver if they're allowed to play their, their game, if they're not under pressure. Again, remember, goal, playing for goal, it's a pressure game. It's a pressure team. And the players should have now adapted to that. Fans all over the world are looking at this game and they want three points. They don't want any excuse. All they need is three points in the game. Okay, carry on, King Manuel. And that one is now headed towards goal and God is uh, there to guard it. With 20 minutes to go, I think all other games are still the way they were at halftime. Bandari leading, Wazito leading against Bidko, Sofapaka leading against uh, Ingwe, Madare leading against Ulinzi 1 nil, KCB 2, Zoya nil, Police 3, Vihiga 1, and Tasca 1, Rangers 1. That's the live score as they happen. We'll keep on telling you. And remember, you can comment on our social media, Facebook, and our YouTube channel, Golmaya TV. Yes, uh, hit the subscribe button as well uh, to get notifications anytime there is anything from this channel. So be the one to know, be the first to know by just uh, hitting the subscribe button this time around. And uh, the ball here is getting very physical. The game is getting physical here and Uchuga has the ball. Will he bring that cross? Uchuga here. Now, but uh, it really doesn't uh, do well. And Sydney takes a uh, shot. Blocked by Kakamega homeboys. Not well cleared yet. Taken by Bajaj. Played here again by the referee. Points at some infringement. The ball is already taken. Uchuga takes a cross here. That is handled. And it's a... It should be a penalty. <laughs> it should be a penalty in box. But then uh, the referee waves uh, play on. The referee waves play on <laughs> King Manuel, even from where I am. Is, that, that uh, a is, it, is it a handball or a bot Yeah, handball. And yeah. I think if the referee, if there was VR technology in Kenya, the referee would have changed his mind. But if the referee Defense. didn't see it, then it didn't happen. It didn't happen, and that's uh, sometimes uh, the pain of uh, watching football when you really need it and you can't get it. <laughs> well, uh, uh, somebody is asking, Jesse Mugambi is asking, and Angalia to Kando, <laughs> referee, <laughs> Angalia to Kando. Uh, thanks, Jesse Mugambi, and uh, Peter Osawa, Amazon, and the handball. And Bajaj has the ball now there, Bajaj with the ball, and it's a goal, it is a goal again. Not in. How it didn't really go in. How it didn't go in. I can tell. Everybody beaten. The pressure is mounting now. For Kakamega homeboys. Just like we said, this game is living up to be one of the best encounters for Kenya Premier League 2023-2024. 2022-2023, uh, if you ask me, uh, True. Manuel. True. For the neutral, I think both teams are playing well. Gore trying their bit to ensure that they push Kakamega homeboys, but Kakamega homeboys trying all they can to ensure that they, they, they stay close in the game. Well, uh, uh, Sylvester Wino today again, uh, not being very sharp, uh, he seems... Uh, to be so sluggish in the way he releases his balls, the way he receives the balls, and this is uh, uh, really disturbing for Gormaya. Sidney Waongo now playing his heart out for Gormaya. It's in the midfield. Uchuga 
finding Sydney and again Uchuga giving the ball away in a manner that is not really desirable at this particular moment. Dennis Njire stands tall in defense. Finds uh, really again uh, gives a pass that didn't go. And now a good pass again on the other end finding uh, absolutely nobody on the Gormaya side uh, when uh, Geoffrey Ocheng just surged forward to execute a move and then didn't go and the ball went back to this very position in uh, or on the left flank that again would have been uh, uh, a worrying worrying call here for Gore again Uchuga playing Omala back to Omala Omala now goes, gets the better of his players and, uh, well, uh, an infringement here. Omala goes down. He's been cut by uh, Odiambo Collins in defense. Nick from uh, the police stadium. Mm -hmm. Police have hit another goal. Police leading four goals to one. And I hear Elvis Rupia has scored the second goal. Now he has one more goal. He's now tied to the all-time leading scorer in the Kenya Premier League. 26 goals by Elvis Rupia. 25 by Benson Omala. Across here into the box. But uh, now Bonfast Bajaji will do better with this. Takes a one. But uh, bodies are thrown on the way. And now Austin uh, is adjudged to be offside. What a game. What a pressure game. Elvis Rupia piping, peeping Omala of the top scorer's boots. <laughs> and now is now equaled Maurice Sonny's 1976 record of 26 goals in a season. What a player he is. What Very consistent. Rupia, and I don't know why he didn't make it to the national team. Maybe he was resting to come and you know, outwit Omala. <laughs> in the final two games but that is engine firat's job my job is to commentate and they're giving you the game live between gorma here and kakamega homeboys 15 minutes to play goal two kakamega homeboys two well goal two kakamega homeboys uh, two and uh, now masharia uh, is this shafika with the ball uh, and omala gets the ball so well uh, omala with the ball but uh, then uh, again loses his footing Now that is where Kadu is sharp when it comes to build up plays. He can give passes, he can intercept, he can make even uh, what is not a goal become a goal. And uh, that is what Omala really should work on. Masharia goes up but uh, really to no avail. And uh, Faruk Shikalo wants to waste some time. Uh, to me it appears a draw is all that Kakamega homeboys would be relishing to have in this encounter. Any more updates? They don't need anything. Kakamega homeboys, they have nothing to lose. Goal here has a lot to lose. And Farouk Shikalo, long pass into the defense of goal. And I think that defense of goal today hasn't played to the best of their ability. But still, there's a lot of time to the end of the game. Just need to be a bit compact. 15 minutes is still a long, long time in a football game. And uh, anything would still happen here. Any team can still win this, and this is football. Sydney Waongo in midfield, playing it hard here. The referee, <laughs> Austin, Austin really finding this not uh, very nice because uh, a lot of boots have gone his way. Masharia with the ball there, wins the ball so well. That is uh, so nice, and it's played to uh, Austin again. Austin of the Ambo with the ball. Austin finds Bajaj. Bajaj there. Doing it well. Austin again with the ball. Sydney Waongo. And the fans are not happy now. Fans are not happy. Fans are not happy with this. Because any move that really doesn't go well is received by a lot a lot a lot and now <laughs> that moment has come 
where Sefuna Ambrose will pave way for Enoch Agwanda, formerly of Gormaya, Enoch Agwanda Joey. All those guys who have nostalgic memories about this player donning Gormaya jersey some time back, uh, Agwanda Joey was known uh, to be killing games. He would charge against defenders. He has a very, 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 very huge physique, good stamina, and uh, really Agwanda can to many defenders. Now he's playing against uh, very, very young people here. Some of them, <laughs> good game. And uh, Sydney Waong again uh, plays uh, a game that uh, nobody wants to see in Goromaya Colors today. Now Agwanda has the ball. Agwanda Joey has the ball. Not able to go past uh, Sylvester. Plays it uh, to uh, Enoch still with the Kakamega home boys. They still have possession here. And uh, Geoffrey Cheng refuses to go down on the other flank. Is a throw in. Simiti does a long throw and finds uh, Austin Odiambo. Austin Odiambo now here is in the middle of the park. Looking for Ochuga Paul. Ochuga does well to control. Then Masharia plays a good, flicks, a good flick on, but uh, the referee finds uh, no foul on that. It is uh, Dennis Njire looking for Austin. Plays so well, uh, Shafiq Kagimu. And this is Boniface Bajaj again, uh, not able to move through the defense. Sydney Waongo plays uh, Shafiq. And Shafiq uh, goes down uh, rather easily. And this is a foul. And Kakamega Hombo is now know the last 10 minutes of the game. They can defend the one point they have they are sitting in deep now Gore has to take that opportunity and try and play a bit wider to bring in confusion in that D and attack through the 45 well uh, it's the last 10 minutes of this encounter and you know <laughs> times like this a lot happen in football Mistakes and blunders. And one is there, but cleared by Kakamega Omboiz. Uchoga in defense. Plays guard. Guard looking for Bajaj. Bajaj uh, not able to control and is played out. It will be a throw in for Gormaya. Well, Ochoga will be throwing this ball now. Ochoga does it. Plays back to Sylvester. And now Dennis Njire finds Bajaj, but not really. Ochoga with the ball. Finds Bajaj now. Ochoga now has the ball. And it's a corner. <laughs> that is uh, a row of disapproval from Gormaya fans. Corner not given there. Corner not given. Uh, Good call by the <laughs> assistant referee there. I think Ochoga hit the ball on him and the ball went out. Goal kick for Kakamega homeboys. And Farouk again wasting the more precious time knowing that time is not on the side of Gormaya doing whatever it takes to ensure that they hold on to the 2-2 two -two draw. However, eight minutes to play, anything can happen in this game. Well, uh, the drums have gone silent from your choir of Gormaya. And uh, now it's only agitation. Everybody is on their feet and uh, they really want to see what is happening here. So throw in. Joffrey Cheng preparing to take that throw in. He'd rather know that he doesn't have time on his side. He, Kakamega Ombo is have nothing to lose in this game. So time to them 
is not really of essence and Austin now will be inviting playing here Austin uh, brings in uh, and uh, really Omala seems uh, very late uh, is uh, time to go for the balls is timing is runs really uh, not uh, of very, nice. uh, very of color, color. Yeah. but I think that the jet lag and the long trip yeah and the number of you know the long training that they had but Omala and now there here the Austin uh, goes for a shot instead of a cross poor judgment again poor judgment and now John Ocheng Jonte comes in for Sydney Waongo who seems uh, tired so Jonte comes in in jersey number 30 and Nick do you think we'll have a replica of 2011 when Gore was playing Thika in City Stadium they only needed to win that game and Tasca were away in I think Nakuru and the original trophy was in Nakuru and the replica was in City Stadium absolutely and, oh my Kennedy Otieno Agogo scored that goal for ta for Thika United absolutely goal the trophy absolutely it's gonna get there if these results remain like they are for both Tasca and Gormaya if you ask me it's gonna be the same replica that we had that Masharia could not get to that ball and it goes out yes we were asking whether it's gonna be the same same feeling that was there well if it goes like it is then all teams will be forced to win the last game that's the unpredictability of the fkf premier league <laughs> if you ask me <laughs> and i know uh, it would be it would be so funny to see how that one works because uh, in 2011 guys really cried literally cried and again ochuga just uh, uh, allowing balls to go off him then <laughs> I think something really must still be done especially when it comes to the forward play for Gormaya other than Austin no player again is doing what is doing in this business and therefore is number 10 role and number 8 role uh, I don't know where he's supposed to play properly because he seems to be the only guy who has a knack to know what is supposed to be done in the game thank you for the correction Basil Neville it was 2012 and not 2011 and this is now nice this is a good one uh, played to Bajaj uh, taken by Austin uh, Bajaj again takes one but uh, goes out for a corner it was in 2011 uh, I remember it was at City Stadium for Gormaya and at the Hope Center in Kawangware so it was 2011 for <laughs> 2012 2012 yeah, yeah thank you very much and <laughs> Basil Neville yeah. on my social media handle reminds yeah. me it yeah. was 2012. I but was about 22 years old then. Then, huh? <laughs> so I'm a young, still a young man. Yeah, well, I, I remember I was at the stadium, at the city stadium, and it was it was crazy, so emotional. A corner here taken, uh, but uh, then uh, headed out for a throw-in. Dennis Njire now leaves it for Simiti Joffrey. We are doing like the last five minutes, uh, last four minutes of the game. And now it's time uh, that Simiti will make uh, a huge throw in. Uh, and indeed, it goes all the way to Farouk Shikalo. Nobody really. What a waste. Nobody, what a waste. nobody went up with him. So, <laughs> and then again, Bajaya. Nobody attacking on the near, near post. Everybody on the far post. Simiti goes to the near post where Farouk had it already covered Uchoga now in defense for goal to guard now guard with the ball plays a, a high one in midfield uh John T didn't really get that another good shot that goes begging another tarifa yeah tarifa from uh, nyayo national stadium so for park have gotten their second goal against AFC Leopards and what a shame what a pity for Ingwe eternal rivals of Gormaya not doing very well after that derby I don't think Ingwe has won any game <laughs> Ingwe 
are okay since they beat Gormai. Uh, for them, that's all they need in a season. And uh, a, a, a good season for Ingwe is when they beat Gormai. Whether they they don't really do well, win any other trophy, as beat long as uh, as long as they beat Gormai for them, that is a season that is uh, well <laughs> <laughs> well accounted for. Mm. Again here, poor coordination in the midfield for Gormai here, and uh, it goes uh, to Uchuga. Uchuga here trying to release uh, Masharia. Masharia now has the ball, and now releases Omala. Omala will uh, now play this back to Austin. Austin with the ball. Austin again plays it back to Shafiq, to Jonte. Jonte here will lose again this ball, and uh, Agwanda has it. For Kakamega homeboys, as long as they have the position, the time rolls down, seconds tick by, they are still okay. Uh, King Manuel, uh, what is happening at Ruaraka? Maybe you... At Ruaraka? Yeah. 88 minutes played, Tasca 1, Rangers 1. If it stays that way, then advantage to Gormaya, but they cannot afford to drop the two points today. They have four additional minutes to play. Let's see what they can wrap up this game with. Yeah, now... Uh, I, I, I wonder whether Gormaya have anything they can make now because uh, the kind of passes I see coming other than Austin who is trying to do something uh, don't really impress at all. For a team that really is uh, desperately in need of a win, uh, the kind of things that uh, Jonte is doing in midfield really don't add up. And uh, Bajaj, deep into the game, very deep into the field, has the ball here. Bajaj has the ball. Bajaj has the ball. Now gets uh, Kagimo, but uh, ooh, this one out of play by Shafiq. Out of play, out of play completely by Kagimo Shafiq. He was out of position there as well. Yeah. He doesn't play as a winger. I wish he could have just controlled that ball a bit, tried to wait for the players to get in. Also, look for Omala. They've not fed him very well today, and that's why probably you've not seen Omala playing to his best of ability well uh, defenders have known Omala and uh, as long as uh, there's nobody to feed Omala they're okay now Omala Omala is a player again who cannot control this ball put it on his uh, uh, foot dribble hold or invite defenders and uh, this one makes him so predictable and he doesn't really po pose serious danger Compared to uh, Kadu, yeah, I, I mean, Kadu is more experienced. Omala, I think, hasn't played out of the country. Kadu has played in very many foreign lands, and you give him credit. Omala will mature with time. You know, he's gonna grow better in the game, like fine wine. So give him that a benefit of doubt. Today, I think, not a very good day for him in office. Yeah, if you ask me, the the coach shouldn't have played him for this game because uh, the jet lag uh, is his first time to travel that distance to play football i think the coach would have rested him for the last day perhaps and let kadu play the entire game but again managers this is now dangerous for gormaya on this other end and kakamega homeboys uh, would be seeking to unleash one last attack on gormaya And it's a foul to be taken by Gormaya, already taken very fast and uh, played. And now this is uh, a good pass to Masharia. We will find Omala, and Omala is off. And Omala is off. What a pass. That, is fast. that pass was nice. Good pass by Masharia. Again, experience. Omala didn't time his run yeah, very his well. Yeah, his run uh, was not well timed, and that is why he was, he's a judge to be offside. Farouk Shikalo, killing more time and has gone to the referee's book for time wasting. This is uh, what uh, he does best. And uh, what else would God do? It's uh, <laughs> we are playing the, uh, the, the, the last uh, seconds of the game. Uh, they just maintain their composure. You know, football, you can score with even less than a minute on that clock. Ma maintain your po uh, um, composure. Maintain your position. Just let them not concede any goal in the game. 
Well, uh, nicely put. And uh, a foul here that would be taken so fast. Well, uh, this should be taken by Gada. I hope uh, he gets... Uh, I, I mean, he should have just taken his time and played a better ball than that. Now again, they are under attack from this team that wins the ball so well. I like the way uh, Kakamega Homeboys are winning their first balls. It's nice. And now Chuga has been left uh, by his... Uh, uh, and this is serious. And it's a goal. Gormaya have lost this. Gormaya have lost this. Left for dead. Left for dead. And now this is serious heading to the last game of the season. Ochuga could not deal with that player. Again, Ochuga Ochuga, Ochuga. They really use that right. Again, it's Ochuga, and it's game over for Gormaya. It's uh, game Homeboy over. Three, Gormaya two. It's game over for Gormaya at this time in moment. Probably the last kick of the game. Kakamega Homeboys traveled over 420 Kik kilometers, kilometers coming to Nairobi to come and uh, show Gormaya and how to do it. said it before. Yeah. Shimanyola said before, he's not coming to Nairobi to play the game, he's coming to Nairobi to win the game. Yeah, but, the, but we said at the beginning of this first half, the second half, that uh, it is time now to replace Ochuga with Philemon, who knows how to stay back. Ochuga doesn't have the pace, he could not even deal with that uh, player. It's uh, a rather, rather disappointing decision from the coach. That was a good goal by Kakamega Homeboys, well built, started the, game, the ball from the middle, took it to the wing brought it back to 45 and that positioning by Golmaya defense not good at all if goal has to play in continental football they really need to invest in better players than what they have this is uh, this is tragic if you ask me uh, Golmaya had this league to take they didn't have to get to this the embarrassing position the game is gone still one um, more game don't worry <laughs> still one more game final game yeah uh, but uh, really uh, I think Ochuga has messed up this game he shouldn't really have allowed that to happen. Cut in. Defenders will sometimes cut. You know, take even a card for the take team. Take the foul. Take the foul. But it's not over till it's over. Well, Goal have the ball again with the Bajaj on that left wing. And it's a throw in now. It's a throw in. Well, uh, fans uh, can't believe what they are seeing in this stadium. And uh, this could be the last action of this encounter. And Gor now play. And that now Farouk Kibes. <laughs> <laughs> Gor would play that uh, uh, poster hold Tasker. Was, uh, was, was, was the latest? Uh, the um, only tarifa we have, uh, tarifa from Nyayo National Stadium, Ingwe, have pulled a goal back. Yeah. So for Paka 2, FC Leopard 1, all other games are 90 plus minutes played. And Gormaya lose this game uh, to Kakamega Homeboys. So we'll wait uh, for the final whistle in the game between Tasca and Rangers and we'll update before the end of this live broadcast. Well, uh, it is what it is in a football game, in a football match. I can see God Matthews headed straight to the dressing room, not even wanting to have any part of this <laughs> encounter. Indeed, uh, it's been uh, indeed uh, it's been uh, nicer having you guys along. Gormaya now lose their fourth game of the season. Fans live here very dejected. Nobody expected this. Kakamega homeboys traveled 400 kilometers plus to come and give this kind of a show, and indeed uh, they are deserving. And Tasca also. Their game ends in 1-1 at Ruaraka. And now it is 67 points for Gormaya and 66 points for Tasca heading to the last game. King yes. Manuel. Good one. So Gor still has an opportunity against the Nairobi City Stars. One more game, one point ahead. The title is theirs to lose. One more game, one title <laughs> to play for, one game to, to win everything everything one point separating them one everything and uh, let's wait on sunday when uh, the curtains will come down and let's hope 
for the best. To all of you who've been watching this game, Geoffrey Otieno, uh, umesema uchuga, <laughs> well, it's not a good day for him. Tobias Okoto Tieno, what are these? Uh, I mean, uh, it's... Uh, it's disgusting for the play. I can see memes here of uh, tears. <laughs> well, it's a game of football and sometimes it ends up like that. A very disappointing for Gormaya on this match day. Their last home game of the season, they've lost to Kakamega Homeboys. This has been live broadcast coming to you from Moy Sports Center and Rachel Kasarani. The last game of Gormaya of the season playing at home have been uh, your commentator Nick Okelo Fololo and uh, my very able commentator and analyst here, King Manuel Mwenyewe. Asante sana. Let's meet next time when uh, we purpose to bring you this match. Thank you very much.